Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out how you can install the postal cold map and the nearest postal script for your 5M slash 5PD server, whatever you're doing, this works on both. Um, thank you to the user who suggested this in the comments of our last 5PD uh, video, I believe it was. So today we're going to be covering this. So first we're actually going to install the postal code map because this nearest postal script is designed to work with it. So we're going to install this first, then we'll install the nearest postal. So pretty much what the postal script uh, map thing does is it puts a custom map for your 5M which adds all these numbers which are like postal codes so you can communicate with other players on the server hey this is where um, my like come meet me at like 302 or something so that's exactly what this is doing so you'll be able to like say come meet me at whatever this is like if you look at these like 8164 and someone would know oh yeah here's 8164 so it's that simple so in order to download it you'll go to the nearest postal uh, script code map thing and just click download by clicking here and it will go ahead and take you to a uh, download thing. You're just going to hit the download, direct download, um, and you can see it's downloaded here. We're also going to download the nearest postal script, which adds this nearest postal thing at the bottom. If you haven't seen our video on how to install player location display, make sure to take a look at that by looking back in our 5PD slash 5M playlist, and you can see how to install this. But this installs this little thing down here that says nearest postal, like whatever you're close to, with the meter away from where you are. So all you have to do to download this is you can just go to the GitHub releases page here, and then you're just going to go ahead and download the source code zip. And you can see we have both of these downloaded. So go ahead and open both of these up. Um, so you can see we have nearest postal here and all that inside there. And then we'll also have the postal cold map. Hopefully that opens up for us. There we go. And you can see server resource map and then stream and everything else. So now the step you're going to do is go into your server dash data folder. If you don't know how or you don't even have a server yet, go watch our full server setup tutorial. But you're going to go into your resources folder. And then inside of here, you're going to go ahead and do two things. The first thing you're going to do is drag in your postal code map, which you can just go into the server resource folder and drag in the map folder. And then you're going to go ahead and close out of that zip. And then you're going to go in here and you can see nearest postal 1.4, just drag that in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rename this postal uh, code just so it's a little easier to put inside of our start uh, server.cfg file. You can go ahead and close that. So you just make sure you have these all these files in here for your map and that. You're going to go over to the server data folder, go to your server.cfg file, go ahead and press edit with notepad or notepad plus plus or wordpad or whatever you're going to do. You can do ensure or start depending what's here, use what you have here. And I'm going to do map because that was one of them. Uh, make sure you don't put map manager, make sure you just put map. And then I'm also going to ensure uh, postal code because that was the name of my other folder that I created. Then you're just going to go ahead and close this. Go to wherever your start.bat file is and go ahead and open it up. And we're just going to make sure it loads in successfully here in a moment. Um, this does have 5PD installed. It does work with 5PD. You don't have an issue with it. I haven't had any issues with it. So that is terrific. So it's going to go ahead and start up. Uh, just give it a second. There we go. So you can see postal code loaded, map loaded. Perfect. So then we're going to go ahead and launch our 5M and we're going to connect and see if everything's been set up correctly. Um, while my 5M launches and will connect, I'm going to show you the configure file for nearest postal. So you can go into your postal code or nearest postal one. And then inside of here, you can see there's a bunch. You've got the new postals. This is the one we're using with the current postal map, but it also support, supports OCRP and old postal maps because there's different postal maps on 5M. I like the new postals because it's just pretty cool. But there is a config.lula file. So you can go ahead and edit this as well, where you can change if a version check, the text for it, the colors you want and the position so you can actually move the position up and down and you can also do the if you want the blips enabled and stuff like where you can do slash postal a number and it draws a line you can set those up here as well so that's pretty cool to see all right so we're going to go ahead and direct connect to our local host server rather than our recording server and we're going to see if this has worked and everything is working fine so we'll go ahead and connect here and you can see 5pd is loading up as well which is terrific so everything's installed and seems to be working properly just a little thing that i wanted to tell all of you you can actually press f8 to view the server console and see if there's errors or anything when you're loading in this sometimes i sometimes do this just to see if there's an error with some resource or something if i get kicked but it's not required but it's, it's a useful tool you can use to um go ahead and use and debug 
some common issues you run into. And of course, if you have issues with this, please let me know down in the comments. I'll be happy to help you out getting them all fixed up and ready and everything like that, because I know issues are annoying. I will do my best to help you out with it. But if I can't help with it, your best bet is contacting the author of the resource. We don't own these resources. We don't make them. We're just teaching you on how to install them. So if you actually have like a really, really bad issue or like it won't load at all or something, and I'm not able to help you down in the comments, just make sure you contact the author of the resource because they're going to be more fit to help you because they actually created it all right so when we load in uh, momentarily you're going to be able to see on the bottom side of our screen right below that player location display we actually in in uh, installed in the last video you'll see the nearest postal and i'm just waiting for this there we go so you can see in our case here it's actually behind the player location display there so we have two options we can either raise the player location display or we can move the newest postal. But one thing I also wanted to make sure is go into your map and just make sure the postals are installed. So you can see our postal map is now installed and the city is full of postals and everything else. So that is good. But let's go ahead and fix that. So we can go into the config.lula file again, and we're actually gonna move it over. So our um, axes here, or axes here, is Y is up and down, X is left and right, just like if you were doing math. So you wanna move it very slowly. So if I do two, 0 0.20, I do F8 and then restart postal codes because that's what we named it or postal code i don't remember yeah you can see it's actually moved down at the bottom so we want to move it a little bit more why don't we move it to 25 and just see where that moves it so you can see that's moving it to the right now and that's what we wanted so maybe we can move it to like 30 maybe that would move it over enough so we can actually see it there we go so you can position this wherever you want just mess around with the x and y axis and you'll see now you can actually see the nearest postal down there what i would want to do maybe is move up the player location display in its configure file and then move over the nearest postal underneath it but you can mess with this yourself i'm not going to show you because it's exactly the same step going into the configure file editing it and just moving it slowly restarting in f8 and if it doesn't let you restart in f8 all you have to do is add yourself as an admin in the config uh, server.cfg file by entering your Steam ID or your IP address. I will have a video coming out on this in the next few days, but just wanted to inform you that is how you do it in case you haven't learned. Or you can just restart the server or restart it actually from the console. So you can do it in here as well and just write restart and then like postal code or whatever you want. And you can see that has actually refreshed it in game along with an F8. So very useful things to learn here. Anyway, if you have a suggestion for another tutorial, let me know and I'm happy to teach you on how to install everything. Hopefully your server is going well and you're um, getting lots of players and stuff and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Goodbye. Falling on a cliff.